Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to look at the possible performance tweak I saw on Reddit a few months ago, and then completely forgot about. That was until I saw it on a Steam Deck related channel, talking about transparent huge pages. I tested three modes available in a few games, and I could see some benefit. As always, test for yourself to see if this fits your workloads. It's very easy to test, and you can switch on the fly. Let's take a look. First, let's see what's the current setting for your kernel. Mine is set to always. You can change to MadVice by running the command and check if it was set correctly. And to change to never, run the command and check if it was set correctly. First, I tested it in Cyberpunk. Always performed really well. Less FPS drops compared to the other modes, and a smoother frame time graph. Madwise had a 3% uplift over Never, and always had a 6% uplift. A smaller uplift on the 1% lows, but a bigger one on average FPS. Next up was Hogwarts Legacy. Once again, always performed well, apart from a massive FPS spike at the start of the benchmark run. It was trading blows with Madwise on both FPS and frame time. Here the uplift was smaller with Madwise and always performing very similar, within margin of error, I would say. I also tested Overwatch as the original Reddit poster got great results with the HP there. Once again always performed really well, both FPS and frame times. Never beat Madwise on the 1% lows, but overall always had a significant uplift over both with a 6% gain over Never. Last up, I tested my old favorite, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Here I tested with Rebar as well as just to shake things up. And surprisingly, Madvice with Rebar off at better frame times and 1% lows. But always with Rebar on performed marginally better overall. I also spoke to the developer of Cryo Utilities and requested a Linux desktop version. And today he uploaded it. Here you can apply lots of tweaks such as swap file size and swappiness. You can also apply THP and other memory related settings, all of which I will test in a future video when I have a little bit more time on my hands. He has an excellent video explaining all of the tweaks, which I will link in the description. Be sure to go check it out. It was developed for Steam Deck, so some of the tweaks might not translate well to desktop, but there is only one way to find out, and that's to test it. An excellent piece of software which enables less tech savvy users easily tweak their installs to squeeze more performance out of it. These tweaks seem to be a complex subject and results may vary greatly depending on the game. For the games I tested it showed some benefit and I'm keen to hear about your experiences. Please let me know down and below in the comments. And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and as always take care and cheers.